In this video, I'll show you how to use Notion to take attendance with a click of a button and keep all of your student records in one place. Taking attendance is important, but doing it by pen and paper and then typing it into your computer later is slow and takes extra time you don't have. It also means juggling between physical sheets, spreadsheets, and other systems. With a Notion student tracker, you can pull it up at the start of class, click a few buttons to mark attendance, and quickly add notes about each student, all without switching between tools. Let me show you how to get started using a simple system in Notion that makes attendance tracking and note taking fast, organized, and easy to manage. Okay, so in this free student tracker, we have four main sections. We have a section for students, records, notes, and something called set date. So to show how this student tracker first works, I'm going to come over to the students page here. We're going to take a look at this database. This is our students database. We have a tab for all and then for status. I'm first going to show just how status works. Essentially, this is how we take attendance for students. On our status page here, we can see we have our list of students and we also have a few buttons. We have a button for present, absent, and then reset. And so at the start of the day, when you're taking attendance, you'll click one of these buttons to set the status for the student. So let's see what that looks like. If we click on some of the present buttons, maybe one of the absent buttons, and then click on present again, we can see that over here in status today, we have set attendance status for each student. So we have four present, two absent. And so what this has done is when you click one of these buttons, it creates a record in this attendance record database for today and then sets a status. And so since we just clicked on some of those status buttons, it has created an entry in this database for each of the students here and then set the appropriate status. If we were to come back to our student database here and click on reset, this will remove the records from the attendance record database. So let's go back here and set those statuses again. We'll click on present, absent, 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 and then present. Okay, and that has created another set of records in this attendance record database. If we would like now, we can go over to notes here and we can leave a, a note for why this student might be absent. We could say homesick, maybe away with family, and there we go, and we can leave little notes here. Okay, if we come back to the students page here, we'll go look at the all tab. And in this all tab, we can see that we have a property for attendance score. This attendance score is calculated by kind of a complex formula, which we don't entirely need to know exactly how it works, but I'll explain basically what it's doing. This formula is looking at all of the records within this attendance record database. It is looking for the specific student and then finding all of the attendance records within this record date. So right now it is finding all of the attendance records that are within January 1st and December 31st. We can see that if we change the end date to not include today, we can see that this student Emma's attendance score has now gone down to zero. Let's clear actually all of these. We can see now that if we clear the record date, everything goes to zero. If we were to include, let's say, just today, right, and select all students, then you can see the attendance score changes. Now, setting this a record date manually would take a really long time to do this for every student, but later I will show you how to set this record date for every single student with just a click of a button. So essentially, that's how attendance tracking works with this template. We come over to status at the beginning of the day. We click on a status for each of the students. We can then come over to our list of students, change the record date, and then we can calculate the attendance score. Let's now look at each section in more detail. So we'll start with this a student section here. Like I showed earlier, we have two tabs, one for our all list of students and then 
a tab for status. Well, let's look at these properties individually. Over on the left here, we can see a little like note taking symbol. And so this property is to create a student note really quickly on the fly. So if we click this button here, it'll create a new note and tag it to the student. And this is where we can create a custom note. So let's just write in a sample, let's say participated well in class today. We can then select the note type, maybe feedback is fine. And then we can close this by hitting the escape button. And so having this little note icon here allows us to create notes for individual students just really, really, really fast. The next property is we have a class property. So if you teach individual classes, you can help group students together this way. If you have many students per class, like over 10 per class, we can actually group all of these students together by class by clicking on the settings here. We can go over to group and then we can click on class. And so here we can group all of our students by class here, and this is a little easier to view if you have 10 or more students per class. We can also do the same with status, and this is actually something I do with my classes. I have about 10 to 20 students in each class, and so I need to group the students this way. So again, we can go to settings, go to group, click on class, and then here we can see all of our students by class and quickly take attendance. After the class property, we have our attendance score property, which we showed earlier, which is this complex formula that looks at the uh, all of the attendance records for this specific student and within a given record date range. If we only want the attendance score for a given semester, we can change this date and the attendance score will change with it. Just one thing to note, you do need to make sure you have a start and and date or this formula won't work properly. Let's take a look at the status tab here. So this is how we take attendance quickly. At the start of class, you can go through the student names and selecting a status for each student, whether present, absent, or you can clear it by clicking on reset. So at the start of each day, this will be completely empty, and then we can create a new status for each student. So let's do that here. We'll click on present, 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 absent, absent. So when we click on one of these buttons here, I showed this earlier, but what it will do is it will create a record in the attendance records database. Here we can add a note, so type in something like homesick or a reason why this student is absent. Uh, but I'm going to show you something advanced we can do here. If we want to add like an absent note to a student quickly, usually we would have to go to this record date and then type in the note here. But what we can do is that we can click on these three dots here. We can find status note and let's show this status note here. And so this status note will show the newest entry to the attendance records database. So let's let me show you what that means. We click on reset here, it clears the attendance record. And so when we click on one of these statuses, it will create a new entry in the attendance records database and then we will be able to see it here. So if we wanted to, we can click on one of these. We could say away on family trip and we can come back. And then we can see that we can add a status note quickly. Now we don't need to do that, but the option is there. Okay, let's now click into one of these student pages. So if we click into one of these pages, whenever we create a new student, a new page template will be created for this student. So let's take a look at what we have here. In the top properties here, these are all the properties we showed earlier. We have class, we have a new note, we have our attendance score property, we have a record date, and then we have our attendance button. So we can also minimize this as well. But if we continue to look further into the page, we see that this page template has been created. So on the left here, we have our tracker navigation, but we also have our notes and our attendance. And so every student will have a page that looks like this. And this is where we can see the individual student notes and their individual attendance record. This, I would say, is a pretty good start when it comes to student assessment. But if you want to take it a step further and start tracking things like grades and even participation, check out the Ultimate Teacher Planner, which is a complete education 
management system inside Notion. Okay, let's now take a look at the record section. So this is where attendance is calculated. So whenever you click on one of those student status buttons to mark them either present or absent for the day, an entry is created here. So the entry is either set to present or absent with today's date. We can also remove one of these statuses by going to the student status and clicking on reset. And this will remove the entry from today. So if we go back to records, we can see the entries for today have been removed. Then we can set these statuses again. We can do that if we make a mistake. Come back to records here and we can see those entries have now been created. Okay, let's take a look at the tabs here. All three tabs we have here are just organized by date. So we have entries that we can see for today only. We can then see all of our entries for the entire month. So if I were to maybe select these, change the date to a previous day, and then we can status quickly. Okay, go back to records today, and then we can see all of our records for this month and then all records in total. We can also add a note to any one of these entries. Maybe we want to add a note or a reason why a student was missing. And so we can add a note here. Okay, let's now take a look at the notes section. So here we have a database for student notes. So I showed earlier to take a note, we can go over to our student list and we can click on this note button here and type in new note. And so that's a fast way to take a note. Well, let's take a look at our note database and look at all the properties that we have. So we have a few different note types we can take. If we click on type here, we have property for behavior, feedback goal, incident, maybe something happens, a note that we need for the parents, progress, social, and support. And so we have a variety of different note types that you can select. We also have a student property. So this is where we can select the student for whichever note, and then a date created. So there are a few ways that we can create a student note. The slowest way is just by clicking on new page here in the, the notes database. We can type in our title of the note here, select the type, and then select our student. But the fastest way is to either come to our student list here and clicking on the new note button here, or another way is to view the actual student profile and then create a note through the linked database here. If we create a note this way, the note will automatically be tagged to that specific student. So with this type of notes database, in my opinion, there are two styles of notes that you can take. You could type the note directly into the title, kind of like we see here, participated well in class today, or we could even give the note a title maybe. So August 18th, 2025, open it up and then give more detailed notes here into the page content directly. Right, note, right, detailed notes here. And so I would say those are the two main ways we could take notes, right? So for the page content here, we can write a lot more detailed notes, especially if we have a lot that we need to say. But if we're just taking quick participation notes or quick little progress reports, then I would say just typing in the note into the title is fine too. Okay, let's now take a look at this set date page. So earlier we showed how we can change this student attendance score by changing the record date. Now setting the record date manually for each student would take a long time, especially if we had lots of students and that's just doesn't make any sense to do that manually. So this set date page here allows us to set the record date for all of the students in one click of a button. So we can see here, I've given some samples here, year 2025, the record date is from January 1st to December 31st. So if we click this here, we will get a little prompt. This will set the record date to this date range for all students. If we click on confirm, this will now change the record date for all students in one go. You can also add your own record date here. You could add as many as you'd like. We could even just add one for the month of August. If we would like, select the first, set an end date. There we go. 
And then if we click on set date here, it'll change the record date for all students to this given date range that we just created. So if we click on confirm, we can see that now it has changed the date range for only August. And so having a list of record dates for maybe different semesters or a different school year just allows you to quickly look at the attendance score of all students within a given date range just with the click of a button. Okay, so to get started using the template, we need to clear all of the data first. So right now there is some example data in the tracker, so we need to remove it. Let's come over to the students database here. We can click on all and just click on delete. I'll check both tabs, we're good. Let's go over to records and we'll click on all and we will select all of these and click delete. Let's go over to notes. All notes. We can click them here, click on delete. And then you can delete these if you want or just leave them there. Up to you. Okay, then we just need to go about adding our students by clicking on new page here. We can type in student one, going and adding all of your students that you have. If you have students within different classes, you can select these class select buttons here, or you can change this to whatever you'd like. It's just a way to help organize different groups of students. We can then go over to our set date and add in our custom date range, or we can do year of 2025. Click on confirm. And then at the start of the day, you can just start taking attendance by clicking on the status buttons. And that's the only thing we need to do. In addition, throughout your week and throughout your classes, you can also take notes quickly just by clicking on the buttons here. If you would like a free version of the template I showed in this video, click the link in the description down below. But if you are looking for a complete all-in-one education management system inside Notion, then check out the Ultimate Teacher Planner also in the description.